I have acquired a new vehicle. Well, it's far from new, but uh, my brother actually got a new car, that one up ahead here. So, I get his old one. Awesome. Um, I guess we'll show him a little, in a little bit more detail when I get home, but yeah, I'm pretty happy. Well, at first this car kind of scared the shit out of me, to be quite honest. I wasn't used to its little quirks, like, uh, uh, you know, all four ball tires and uh, the rear shocks absolutely shot and, uh, you know, what else? Oh, my brother plugged the tire. I really didn't need to know about that because it's kind of plugged on the sidewall. But, you know, it's actually not half bad. It kind of rocks you to sleep a little bit. I know you can't see it bounce, but it does. Unfortunately, uh, this window won't go down on the driver's, or won't go back up on the driver's side, so I'm probably going to have to take care of that at some point, but uh, yeah, it's not so bad so far. I kind of like it. I got a pretty loud exhaust. I don't know if you can hear it very well, but uh, oh, you got to flog the new cars. I don't think I want to do that too much on these crappy tires and probably crappy brakes at night with deer. Yeah, I should probably slow down. But yeah, I'm excited. I like this thing. Well, here it is in the light of day. My new acquisition, uh, 1998 Park Avenue, my brother gave me. Uh, he ended up buying a, a 93, like this one, 93 LeSabre. And, uh, he gave me this one. The one he bought's real nice, no rust. Uh, it's pretty much the opposite of this one. It's a nice car. But he was pretty much done with this one, so he gave it to me. Uh, it needs about 800 bucks worth of work that I know about to get it you know, on the road and have an actually safe car. Uh, it needs all four tires, needs a muffler, needs rear wheel bearings, rear shocks are shot. As you can see by the way it just keeps bouncing. Um, what else it need? Uh, transmission fluid flush, oil change, <clears throat> little things like that. Uh, pretty sure it needs more, but there's also little things wrong with it. Uh, back doors don't open from the outside. <laughs> uh, the front window on the other side doesn't like to go back up once you once you let it down. Obviously there's problems with the interior <laughs> just little issues I guess but uh, it runs good it's got quite a few miles on it Let's see if I can see how many yeah. how many miles do I have check tire pressure change engine there we go 223,695 miles so it's pretty high up there, but you know, it still shits and gets pretty good for a car its size and its age. I tell you, we're two apples that don't fall far from the tree. Messy sons of bitches we are. But it needs a little bit of work. But it should be a good car once I get to about 800 bucks into it. And he bought a new one because he figured he could spend a little more money and get a car with 80,000 less miles, you know, so that's what he did, but I'm going to fire it up. It runs halfway is decent, but it's got one heck of a exhaust leak. I don't know, I'm going to have to look at this thing and check out all its little features. Pretty big hole in her. I think we're gonna have to fix that. But my computer, uh, the one I use to edit my videos, and I've got a few videos saved on it, it is giving me the blue screen to death. So I'm gonna have to use my other computer and uh, upload this video. But hopefully, I'll call the boy back over, and uh, he can fix the computer I normally use, and I can get those other videos up. Got a couple more on there. But uh, 
yeah it's my new car i like it